Hey everybody, welcome to the nightly vid and what I've decided here is to shorten these vids up. I'm gonna stop explaining uh, magnitudes and all of that mess. You guys know what a simultaneous break looks like. You know what a 2-2 looks like, all that stuff. Uh, so if you're looking for that, go watch the videos where I teach you guys that. So that being said, let's get into it. Spine, simultaneous, five minute, 15 minute, and inside 30 minute breaks lower this morning with the rest of the indexes. And it did take out the lows of yesterday's range. So we wanted to see the shooter day in force. We tried it once we saw this happen. So get short fiver, get short 30, 15, whatever you could get in there. And then once it takes this down and then reclaims above 500.8, we know that's not in force. So that's where you cover or on the inside five up reversal 212. Uh, you'll see cues. Also did that. And then the hint as far as things not going today, Dow Jones did not do that. So relative strength Dow and IDBM did not do that. Relative strength IDBM. So with the non-farm tomorrow morning before open, inside days. So gap up, we'd love to see a rev strat gap down. Maybe we can take all these guys out depending where we gap, ideally somewhere around this low so we could take the signal. Uh, three, one. And it's an inside month, so just be aware of that. Every index just went inside. So really good trading last month. Now they're inside chopping around if this non-farm can't get us out of that range. And you'll see Dow Jones also 3-1. So either side of that gets your attention. Uh, Spy is a hammer counter shooter. Qs is a hammer counter shooter. So either side of that gets our attention. Two down day, rev strat week. Two up day, pivot machine gun, and maybe they take the week in force, but the month will be inside still. Uh, as far as relative strength goes today, we saw the China names. So gap up, this is a gap list name. What do you do on a gap? You look for the 15, 30, 60s. This morning, there's your 1, 2, 2, 15 to get in. What do we look to trade? Specifically, we had PDD up because PDD was a 2, 2, and you'll see this. We had this here before the open because that would create a 2 up week, and that would create an inside month and up with magnitude to take that out. So we look for the 2, 2, 2 right here. And then once the day is bright green, we saw this coming in, and we we're like, yeah, it's probably corrective activity. So you get the 2, 2, 2 right here to change control back to the buyers and get in off the 15. And if you're a 30, 60 guy, you got that too, the 2, 2 right there. Uh, you're going to see JD was really, really gunning, and there's your momentum hammer. 30 inside bar to get in and you'll see the 60s here they bought the first and the second and this is where you can enter when you know they're buying get in on the continuation and we mentioned that uh that was going on the strat attack list for certain once this broke a two up you'll have the rev strat tomorrow for the open as well as baidu with the rev strat tomorrow for the open if china names want to continue back through previous range you got these hammer two two months with pmgs as well as twos going three on the quarter here baidu and you'll have k web Hammer quarter and force, which we mentioned, we mentioned was occurring uh, down in here. We said we want to see some triangle out. This was the triangle out, and then they started getting uh, with the gap ups there. Uh, there's a lot more than that. There's like Futu, which was also a crazy one. Here's your inside 60 that takes two hours to set up. Boom, up they go. And there was Neo, which was a gap sell this morning. We started 30 short, but they recovered 302 up. They forgave them, creating the Momo Hammer for tomorrow to confirm this bright green week and potentially take these guys out at 6.3. Uh, there's also LI, which was on the gap list here. LI. And this one's not the best. Uh, you know, intraday name, more of an overnight name, but three pokes down and back into the three on the quarter. Uh, on the new month, it could become a one, two, two rev strat above this 3211. That'd be something we'd want to know. And going into today with the sectors, as far as downside, if we see gap up cells or inside down tomorrow, energies will be the inside bar down two, two week in force with the shooter month in force, which tells you to look at all these names down in here. So you're going to see MPC. Uh, inside day green. So if it gaps down, that could be a kicker type of pattern. It's already an outside week, but it is a 2-2 reversal month. So we'll see. If they break up tomorrow, maybe they recover the months becoming threes because we know the year is still potentially going in force energies. It's just, it's a yearly signal. So we got to give them the time to stop out and confirm that if that's going to be the case. Uh, you'll have COP, which actually came in and they continued selling that today after yesterday's uh, simultaneous 30s down which you know that stops you out but that's still something to know about this is relatively weak if we go to apa you're also going to see continuation of the selling today and this was one of the good ones from yesterday notice inside down and they puke you stop out of some hold that and then down they go for the stat guys and if we go to mro you will have the inside day in there or actually the 222 i mean two down two up two down randy jackson below that to confirm a two down week a 2 reversal month back through this previous range which we longed up here took profit up in there and then maybe get the short back through that from here if we go to psx 
you'll have the two up day as well if they're going to see a 222. If we're going to see a recovery, this was a three last month, so back into the three above 143.02. That's your line in the sand. So we'll keep an eye on that for sure. If they go two up tomorrow, this would be one I'd be interested in to set up the hammer week. Uh, the ones that we like, Oxy, three on the week, inside day. So if we're going to see a recovery, there are three on the week. Inside day up back through previous range would be a triangle out month, corrective activity against the year, and then two go three month, setting up the three two rev strat week for next week. This inside day could get that going. Uh, and there's so many more PXD, which isn't doing too much today, is slightly stronger on the way down. They didn't really peak that one as much. Uh, there's like Shell, which you can see a little bit stronger than the rest as well, holding an inside month. So all of that stuff. In the energies, we'll just do scans if we miss anything here. Going into tomorrow, we knew biotechs were going to form that inside day. We talked about that yesterday. It's still an inside month, but a 2 2 week in force with some PMG there. So, inside day momentum hammer 2 1 2 measured move above that tomorrow. And that tells you healthcare's as well. 3 1 with the Dow Jones names. Still very inside month there. So, I'm not too certain about that. But in the biotechs, we do see IOVA with the potential measured move with the weekly PMG. We see NVAX, which is my personal favorite one here. Inside day measured move above that with the weekly PMG. You'll see B-Bio. Inside day measured move with the 2-2 week in force. Could trigger the month after some triangle out action in there. And in the XLV, AMGN is going to be a gapper tomorrow. Open around 320 with magnitude up into 329.72. You will also see DXCM, 3-1 day, 2 down green week. Maybe that gets going, maybe it doesn't. It's going to be double inside month, so it's not the best thing in the world, but you got some range to work with there. Tech will be the 2-1 day, bright, bright green continuity across the board. So that one has the most continuity. It's got that 2-1-2 week in force. It's got that 2-2 month in force. You got a lot of reasons to be in there tomorrow if that's in force, simultaneous break. Humana is probably going to be the better one for the potential 3-3 three, three week because they bought it yesterday, came back today for more. And that was something we had on the observations list yesterday with the 3-2-60s in the morning. So we'd like to see, can you give us another two or not for the outside week and look for some intraday 30-15-60 stuff. Outside of that... The utilities are going to have good continuity, momentum hammer month in force. It's going to be the most uh, evidence trade as far as the bigger time frames go and we had it down here so if you did what we said and you know hold the stuff that's a winning position because you got no reason to get out of that even if you got it in here you got no reason to get out of that and even if you got it on the 322 week you didn't really have much reason to get out of that because you had every single utility going up so so could be relatively stronger still and same thing look at this net 68 24 75 92 at the eyes duck You'll have the three one day into tomorrow, and there's probably more than that, but those are the two main ones I've been focusing on myself. Maybe like AEE, which is a Momo Hammer month, probably has a quarter going too. AEP inside day three one with the momentum three two or no the three two Hammer month. Uh, Dominion not so much, closer to a two down. ETR, 3-1 day, still inside week, but could trigger the month. So you got a lot of good stuff going on in there, and maybe GE with the inside day there as well. So something we'll want to know about. And I know it's a lot, but that is going to be covered. Well, that's going to cover most of what we want to see here. As far as the gaps go tomorrow, we will see coin with earnings. They had really juiced premiums into these earnings. So this is something that's pretty cool. I learned this more so from NASA, but when we trade gappers, this is pretty much what we're looking for. And NASA is just a trader on Twitter, but he calls it the IV flush. And so into earnings, coin is pricing in a $15 move plus or minus for the most part, uh, give or take maybe a couple bucks. But when it goes flat like this, not doing anything at the open is when you get the move. So in the morning, the, the one or five or three minute stuff on coin, that's what we want to know about. And depending on what they do, we might set up a crazy rev strat week in here, which you have this two going three month, two down in green. If that week flips green, you have full time for continuity. So if we mark that out here, 229.94 would be continuity up. Continuity down is below 199. So not quite, but a 322 day, if that were to occur, would make that occur. So either which way we want to know about coin just because of the volatility. Uh, today, 
Uh, CLS Kate still, you know, two and down as far as we know here with the 3-2-2 week. It's just not really doing much, so we'll have to see if they finish that off on Friday. It's an inside month now with that monthly change in the middle of the month. If we go to Mara, that was a little stronger. Inside day, inside week. We got a riot. Inside day, inside week. So really not too much else evidence in the coin as far as we're concerned. There's like hut in there maybe, which is like two down week, three one day. So really just not too much going on outside of maybe coin and MSTR. Had a 2-2 day today, so coming from exhaustion, maybe that gets moving around with uh, Bitcoin. We go to Bitcoin here. Inside day Bitcoin. So tomorrow... They took out all these weekly lows, which is on a two-month chart, it's a two-two reversal. But if they go inside day up, they're reclaiming that, and that's no longer in force. So what we'd want to know about is here's your little macro try or micro try in here. If that inside day was in force, you're back into this three, and you'd be trying to take these guys out. So that would get Bitcoin stuff moving. You can trade things like Bit O, which was a two-two today. Uh, you can see the day was green, the month was green, but the week is bright, bright red. So not so much there, but. Uh, We'll be keeping an eye on the crypto names with the coin earnings and the Bitcoin inside day. And that covers most of what we're going to talk about today. There's obviously a lot more. Maybe SMHs negate the week or go outside week. There's XLKs, which double inside weeks. So we'll see next week where the next two is. But as far as we're concerned, that's where the relative strength is. And that'll be about it. So I'll see you guys in Tomorrow's nightly vid for those not in stat and for those in stat, I'll see you guys bright and early in the morning looking to trade some Lotto Friday.